So I'm going to be doing some videos on uh, the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And uh, the first video I want to do here is uh, comparing the newest edition. Uh, this here is a New King James Version Thompson Chain Reference. And it was printed quite recently. It's the 14th printing from February 2019. And I'd like to compare just the overall quality and the make of this uh, with some older ones that I have here. And uh, these are ones my wife and I got years ago. And uh, th this is a 10th printing from 1997 in the King James Version. And uh, so the same with this one here of my wife's. Uh, these are both 1997 printings versus the 2019 printing. This is the New King James Version, and these are KJVs. Uh, so I'm going to just start with uh, the outside here and look at them. And again, I just want to get to the quality level and, and see how has the quality gone with these over time. Now, uh, before I look at the Bible, I do want to mention the boxes uh, have changed look a little bit. This is a two-piece box that I have from the 90s, and the newest one that I have here is more of a clamshell. Uh, so not a huge difference, but that shows you the difference in how they look, how they're constructed. Uh, but as far as the Bibles themselves, um, on the outside here, the spine of the newest edition looks pretty much the same as these older ones here. Now I know some of them, uh, some of the editions have actually printed in a landscape form where the Thompson chain was written sideways. So I like the way they did this. Uh, it's the classic look, the way these previous ones are done. So that looks the same. Uh, and the leather on this is genuine leather. This is supposed to be a burgundy uh, genuine leather cover. And uh, it does have some similarities with the 90s edition. It, the grain definitely looks very similar as, as this on the black one here. So you can see how those two look. But I will say the feel of the black one is more flexible and leathery. Whereas the feel of this uh, newest edition is uh, more plasticky, if I had to put a word on it. It just doesn't feel as leathery and genuine, even though uh, the back here does clearly say uh, that it is genuine leather. But I have to say there are some bonded leathers that are out there now that actually I would say probably feel a little better than this. This just has kind of a plasticky feel. They both are a paste down vinyl inside with the uh, gold gilt line. So you can also see that same thing on the uh, 90s edition here, although it has faded some. So they're very similar in that way. And the same with this uh, silver one of my my wife's, although the gilting on this was uh, a little a design, uh, has a little bit of a difference there, uh, but basically similar. Now the leather on this blue one has a different grain, and you can see that there. It's a tighter looking grain as opposed to this one here, um, but it still has a leathery, flexible feel to it, unlike this one, which again, just very stiff, and just it actually doesn't feel as much like nice quality leather, in my opinion. So that's too bad. But it's still really uh, good. Um, I would love to see that improve, though, honestly. Thompson Chain, if, if you're listening, Kirkbride, it would be great if you could go back to improving the leather on your, on your covers, if possible. That would be great. Now, these are all thumb-indexed. And another area where you see a difference, although this older one here does have some of the, the thumb index tabs coming out because uh, they get old and sometimes they do come off. You can see that one there. But one thing you see with both of these older ones is that the beginning of book sections, like the beginning of the Pentateuch, uh, is a different color. And then the beginning of the historical books is a different color. So they have silver on this one designating the beginning of book sections. In my uh, black one here, they're gold, uh, the ones that designate the beginning of book sections. In the, in the newest one, they're all just black. There's no differentiation. 
And I think uh, the way they used to do it was a nice touch. It was just something a little extra saying, you know, that this is a nice little thing we're going to do. And and those little touches make a difference. They just, they speak of quality. They speak of, you know, putting craftsmanship into the product. But uh, the new uh, the new ones really don't have that. They're much more generic, I would say. Uh, as far as the ribbons, um, I would say the newer ones, their ribbons aren't, aren't quite as nice either. Uh, not bad. It's not a bad ribbon. Pa Thompson chains always have one ribbon, from what I know. Uh, but this older one here is a thicker ribbon on this one. And on this one, I would say... Um, it actually is more like the burgundy new one, but still, this one uh, just feels a little nicer to me. Uh, but the nicest one is on this black one for whatever reason. The gilding, uh, it's hard to compare because these ones are so old. Um, and this one was gold gilted, this one was silver, and this newest one is gold. Uh, they all have a nice color scheme, and I would say the gilding is pretty much the same as it has been. Um, the uh, the inside of the Bibles here, I'm not going to show the difference on this video in uh, in in the, the the New King James versus the King James. I do want to do a video on that. I just want to show though, as far as the paper, which I know is very important to people. Uh, you do have a difference. It's not huge. It's not a huge difference, um, but it is different. And first of all, this paper is whiter than the older edition. It's also, I would say, thinner and has more show through than the older edition. So that's, you know, again, an area where the quality isn't quite as high as it used to be. Um, a lot of these pages on this one were stuck, and again, that speaks to them probably being pretty thin. Uh, and uh, when they put the gilding on, thin pages do tend to stick together. It also, to me, speaks of just uh, maybe not as high quality paper. Uh, but anyway, um, as far as the print quality, I would say they really are similar, but again, just less show through on the older one. Is the new one bad though? No. It really isn't bad. Um, what I'm saying with this is that the new ones are still nice Bibles. They're just not as nice as they used to be. Um, but when you get to the New Testament, I do like, by the way, the New King James has poetic settings and they do that in the Thompson Chain New King James as well. But uh, let's look at the red letter, the infamous red letter of the Thompson Chain. So here it is, and I actually have to say that on camera, Thompson Chain Red Letter always looks better than it does in person. Trust me, in person, it's not that good. <laughs> I mean, I hate to say it, but uh, in, in when you actually look at this, it kind of is, is a very bright pinky type red. And in some lighting, I know my eyes, they're not getting younger. In some lighting, I I just can't even read it. It's really not good. And that was that way with the old one, and they've continued that with the new one. So that's really just, I would say, the same. It always was bad, still is bad, but that would be great if they could improve that. The notes and the content of both of these are fantastic. The quality has been maintained, if not improved, in uh, the uh, New King James Version. So we will look at that on a future video. But I just wanted to show you kind of my initial thoughts on the quality and the construction of the older one of the Thompson chain, KJV, versus this new 2019 NKJV. I, I would love to hear your thoughts and any questions that you have in the comment section below this video. Thank you so much for watching a look at these Bibles from a fresh perspective.